Hey guys, I'm LB, and uh, let's check out Pondering by Hugo B. Designer. Medium. As I was writing my mono portal mapping guide, I came across having to tell people how they could use auto portals on ceilings, which I've never done myself. So, as I sat there pondering about its applications, dozens of ideas came to mind. This test is an amalgamation of most of them. Turns out you can do a lot with an auto portal on the ceiling. This puzzle involves repulsion gel, which I rarely ever use, and a reverse funnel, as well as lots of momentum. Warning, this test may require a little dexterity, but no skill or energy moves. All moves are consistent and reliable. As always, feedback is appreciated. Cool. So yeah, an interesting property of mono portals on the ceiling is that you can fall out of them, but then you can't go back in them very easily unless you have a funnel or bounce gel and the ceiling is close enough. But uh, I'm sure Hegel will elaborate much more on that. Whee! Hey, look, we're playing as Chell. <laughs> Come on now. Alright, whatever, I'll just move out normally. It's not like we could get any bosses that way anyway, but yeah, so one way. Once you fall out of the portal, there's no going back into it. Unless you have a funnel or lots of bounce gel. So we could get bounce gel on here, and then we could bounce back into the portal, I believe. Speaking of which... Yeah. That, for example. So now we've got that. And, theoretically... Yeah, we could bounce back out again. Exactly what I was saying. Alright, so... First of all, let's, let's go ahead and get up here. Aha! Here's something we can't actually do yet, okay. Fine, fine. Hmm. We actually want to go here, though. I know what we can do. Uh, actually that doesn't seem to help much. Unless there's something I can see over there. Which there's not. But this definitely feels like it's on the right track, doesn't it? You know what I haven't done? I haven't actually stepped on this button. Well, that's interesting. I know what that's for. At least I think I do. Alright, where do we actually need to go from here, though? <laughs> uh, excuse me, I would like to jump up there, please. Thank you. Um... Can we dexterity our way up there? Almost? Uh, excuse me. I would like to jump up, please. What the heck is wrong with this bounce gel, man? What? What is going on here? What? Something weird is going on there, and I don't understand what it is. <laughs> I don't know if that's the kind of the stare that Hugo was talking about. Can we do this? I might be misunderstanding something here. Hmm... What else can we do from here? Not much, honestly. I don't think we're supposed to dexterity our way up there. Well, we can loop the gel, so there's at least that much going for us. And... Right, that's not how the gel looping works, is it? Yeah, looping the gel doesn't do anything for us. Like, whoop de do! We can loop it, but we can't move the green portal, so there's no point in doing that. Unless you just want to watch the gel physics get completely destroyed. <laughs> Eventually, it'll be moving so fast, they'll just... I don't know what'll happen, actually. Maybe they'll reach a terminal velocity, or maybe they, they'll just bug out and disappear or splat, because they're going too fast. Um... But no, really, what do I need to do here? Hmm. Well, maybe I can still use terminal velocity and then bounce, or something. Let's try that. So maybe I'm not... maybe the gel's not what needs to loop. Whoa! Whoa! That's actually... What? What exactly is happening right now? I'm moving so fast... 
that the game doesn't have time to see me going through the portal, and instead sees me hitting the bounce shell. I've never seen this happen before. This is fascinating. Sometimes I get more velocity than other times, though, which is weird. What is happening right now? How... how does this work? Oh my gosh. Oh, that was weird looking. There we go! Finally, jeez! Alright, so I think we can take Stair to your way... ...up to here. Well, let's try that again. Maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> this, is, this is all new to me. <laughs> I've never done this before. This is, this is quite bizarre. There we go. There's some dexterity. There's also that. I don't think we have enough dexterity to get over to there, though. But, uh, playing Portal 2 maps fills me- fills me with dexterity. Gel maps especially fill me with dexterity. I am filled with dexterity. What does this do for me? This turns on the faceplate and... Does that... something or other? What exactly is it doing? I need to know. I need to know what that's doing. Angles it like that, alright. Understood. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, game. Here's our exit condition, it's just an open door policy, we just need to get up there. So this, I think, might be the last thing we do. What is the point of this sizzler, though? Because <laughs> we can literally just bring a cube around here. <laughs> Look at that, we can just set the cube down, and pick it back up again. I'm not sure what this sizzler's here for. I'm sure we'll figure it out someday. Oh, I can- I can even jump around it. Like, whoop de doo Might have something to do with the funnel, I don't know. Well, anyway... Let's- let's- let's go load back to our quick save again here. Cause I think I see another thing we could do. Am I supposed to do that? That doesn't seem right to me. I don't think that's the kind of dexterity that Hugo was talking about. Hmm. Well, it worked. I hope that's intended. Aha, uh -huh, there's the funnel I was talking about. Told ya. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna guess... And this is just a guess. That we need to do that, and that. Ha ha ha! Look at that! This is cool. I'm glad Hugo decided to explore this concept. Alright, I think that's enough. Yep, that's enough. Give me a cube. Cube acquired. Save and continue. Oh come on, I wanted to I wanted to be cool. Let's bounce off the slope. Whee! <laughs> the floor is lava. Oh, that's great. Alright, so there's another thing up there, which I don't know what it does, but we have a funnel now. And it appears that we could just bounce straight into it if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and do that. And we can discover what that does. Oh, for a second I thought there was no funnel music. It's just really quiet. Or really subdued, rather. Hmm... Interesting. Maybe that's how we're supposed to get up there. <laughs> I think I might have done things in a slightly unintended manner.
Hmm. Well. For now, let's just do things the normal way. We have a funnel now. Can I see the funnel? Yes, I can. Was I able to see that the whole time? I, I think it wouldn't have done me any benefit, but, uh, yeah, that's the thing I can do now. What does this do for me, though? I'm not actually sure. Man, this funnel music is good. I've just never heard it before. I'm not sure what the funnel does for me, to be honest, other than that. I almost don't want to leave because of the cool funnel music. anything of interest from here? Like, we could coat the cube in gel, but that would be... bad no Ooh, never mind. Then we can't even do anything like that from here. Yeah, that gel is just... that gel is just gonna go back there, I guess. Hmm. What exactly do I need to do here? So I think this is... yeah, that's definitely less than two blocks. Let's- let's try that, first of all. Get you out of the- the harm's way. And do this. Get over here, Gel. Alright, that seems sufficient. Now the issue is we can't get up here. Well, at least we can get the cube out. Not sure if we need to just yet, but sure, we'll do it. Seems like something we can do. Right, the button's over here. Could, could, hard, hard to see with a cube in your face, you know? Alright. For a second there, I thought I didn't- look at that! For a second I thought I didn't have a portal- portal gun anymore, because look, the, the color- it's so similar that you can only see the white dots cross here. <laughs> it blends in so well. Look at that. You can hardly see the portal crosshairs. Now you can see them. Now you can't. Now you see them. Now you can't. <laughs> Alright, so let's get ready to do this. And this one's gonna be... There we go. That works. Perfect. And the nice thing about that is that gel actually ignores terminal velocity. So even though you reach a terminal velocity, the gel doesn't bounce you up by velocity, it bounces you up by the height that you originally reached. So if you fall down, like, 50 blocks and hit gel, you'll bounce back up 50 blocks, even though terminal velocity is 7 blocks. Alright, so we have another cube now. That's good news, I guess. Is that where we started? I think it is. Interesting. Well, let's go put this cube somewhere, I suppose. Hmm. How did- what? I'm not sure what just happened there, but somehow my cube got turned around in my very own hands. So let's go put this here, for instance. Come on. There you go. And, uh... Come on, now. Oh, come on! There we go, that works. So it is a bit more forgiving than I expected. Alright, so, now, we need to go get regular cube again. Give me this. Regular cube reacquired. And let's put this on here and see what that does for us, if anything. Hmm. 
you know, I'm still not sure how this helps us in any meaningful way. But maybe we want the companion cube in here. How would we do that, though? Because we get the companion cube in here, we can put it on that button, and then we can start doing things. So what's the best way to make that happen, I wonder? Oh. I see an easy way to make that happen. Just put you there. And then we'll do this rumor roll again. Hey, that worked out just fine, didn't it? Right, so. There we go. I believe that was dexterity in use. Wow, that was a smooth move I just pulled off. Right, I, well, I will have to rotate this cube, unfortunately, because I don't think we're going to be respawning it anytime soon. How did I... right, I forgot I'm getting gel there. It's just weird that it ended up there, of all places, on the floor. There we go, cube, uh, rotated properly. Now we have access to that. Which this time will require more dexterity than the forgiving mode. Right, so... I believe we can just walk out of here, right? Yes. Not quite what I meant to do, but sure. Oh right, the funnel's still on! <laughs> oh yes. Let's, uh, get that out of here first. There we go. Now let's put it, um... Do we want to take it with us or something? I'm not actually sure. Let's put it on the faith plate. That seems like a reasonable thing to do, right? Yeah, so when we get up there, we can just step on the button, and the faith plate will launch the cube to us. It'll do our job for us. That sounds like a nice thing. Save and continue. There we go! Maybe that's what the pistol's for, just prevents you from doing ninja moves with the cube. Alright. Get up here, cube. There you go. That's a good cube. Right, so now that we've done that... Mmm, yes. I do believe we are done at this point. In that case... Great work, Hugo. That was a great test chamber. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! Man, that ending was real satisfying, but we just landed perfectly on the ledge.